Hi, it's Elrin for the Margoli Project. Welcome back to day number 10. So this is the last one, a true or false quiz. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, as I said, comment, like, subscribe, share, and see how many of these you're getting right. So this is the last one. And yesterday I said to you, sleep deprivation can cause a phobia. Is that true or false? So what did you get? Is it true or false? It is false. Yeah, no. Um, phobias are learnt from extreme, they're learned behaviours by the way, phobias. You have two natural phobias. Um, fear of loud noises, fear of falling. So they're the ones that you're born with. All the others are learned. They're learned behaviours. Yeah, that's how they're learned. Um, from something extreme, um, so if, if you're a child, this is why usually when you're um, young, you, this is how you get a phobia. So if a spider or a rat or something comes across the floor and one of your parents screams or reacts or jumps up, then what that does, that loud noise creates a high, um, creates a high emotional state inside you as a child and then you, your brain is going to connect it to whatever it's seen or whatever the reaction is that you've seen your parents do. So your parents literally give you <laughs> or teach you how to do it. And then it's learned like that, that quickly. That's how quick so you learn it from. Usually that's a young age you'd learn it from. When you're a bit older, if you don't have a phobia, then you can rationalise it and go, ah, I don't know, it's not reason to be scared of. But when you're young, it just gets anchored like that. Okay, sleep deprivation does do some um, bad things though. A lot of people are um, condition themselves to sleep around about five or six hours, which is like sleep deprivation. So they condition themselves to do it. And there's loads of research around this. Now, obviously, I with research, I have to, um, yeah, I, I, I am mindful that it is a over a population, so uh, it's not necessary specifically a person. But what they're saying is between seven and nine hours is needed for adults um, to function right. Because if you're if you're not getting the right amount of sleep, then your brain is actually shutting down. Lots of businesses, big businesses now, are actually they're changing their way they structure and what the their well-being, they're paying a lot of money to well-being services right now because what they've realised is that during, because of this research, when they're big, um, when people have to make big decisions, the part of the brain, uh, which is the frontal lobe, that, that's used to uh, rationalising and making decision making, gets shut off and they sort of go into a zombie mode and they're making decisions based on not in rational things because of lack of sleep. Now the brain actually shuts down areas or um, slows them down dramatically if you're not sleeping properly. So it's a big, big area at the moment. So make sure you're sleeping properly as well. So thank you very much for the true or false quiz. If you want another one, then you're gonna have to leave some comments. I want some comments telling me just do another one because I might do one next week. You know, if I if I receive in, if I, I tell you what, if I receive twenty comments, twenty, then I'll do another one. Otherwise, I'm going to do some other things, All right? So, or in fact, if I get fifty likes, if I get fifty likes, then I'll do another one. Yeah, fifty likes. Let's let's start that. All right. Okay, thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next week, maybe for some more, maybe for some more true or false quizzes. See you later.